Google Classroom has more than 10 million teachers and students using it. And when you have a user base that size, everybody wants in on the action. And so a lot of technology companies that work with schools are integrating their products and services with Google Classroom to make your life and the life of your students a little bit easier. I'm going to highlight just a couple of these integrations and give you some resources um, on where to find additional apps and extensions that integrate directly with Classroom. Now, Google made this possible starting in 2015 where other companies have access to a set of APIs to integrate their service with Google Classroom. This is still an area that's developing. We're seeing a lot more products being integrated with Classroom and more added every year. Probably the best place to go to find apps that are integrated with Google Classroom is the Google Chrome Web Store. There's a special filter for the apps that will show you all of the tools that have a Google Classroom integration. It's a little bit difficult to find that link from within the Web Store, so I'm going to put the link in the description for this video. Now, I'm going to jump out of the presentation here and just highlight a couple of um, my favorite apps that are integrated. Once you kind of understand how this works, you can begin looking for some um, clues about whether other tools that you use are integrated with uh, Classroom as well. Now, this is a product called CK12, and it is a very large database of lessons and curriculum that are 100% free. I've gone ahead and located a lesson. This is a kindergarten science lesson and depending on the lesson it will have illustrations, videos, simulations, activities, all kinds of interesting things. But what we're looking for is we're looking for a button that says share or sometimes you'll see this little you know symbol that looks like that. Um, you're looking for something along that line and so they've got this little airplane here. We're going to click the airplane and um, it's going to bring up a series of options, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, but Google Classroom happens to be one of them. So if I click share on, this will open up the integration and I can now send this exact lesson into my elementary class as a question, an announcement, or an assignment. I can type it all up. So no need to copy and paste or figure out how to get it in there. It does it for you. Puts that link right in there. So that's the basic idea. A lot of them are going to work uh, very similar to that. Um, another popular tool is uh, Quizlet. And so I've uh, gone ahead and set up um, a Quizlet um, flashcard set also on weather. And again, we're looking for some kind of a button that is like share or, you know, send somewhere else. We're going to click on that one. And that is going to, again, give us the option to push this into Google Classroom, which is super handy when you're um, trying to assign this uh, kind of stuff to students uh, for them to practice, um, you know, their flashcards or something like that. So there's our share to classroom button. And again, I'll just push it right in. Um, we'll do one more math teachers. This is a really great one for you. Um, you know, math and technology can be a little tricky sometimes. And so um, there are two tools that work pretty well, uh, Desmos and GeoGebra. Um, and so both of these tools will allow us to create some type of type of a graph and then um, set up a problem and then push that problem into Google Classroom for our students to interact with and uh, solve. So I'm going to click the three lines in the top right corner, select the share button, and I'm able to share this uh, right into Classroom as well, exact uh, same interface. That's the basic idea. There are many, many more apps that feature a Google Classroom integration, uh, but those are a couple that I wanted to highlight today.